Hello and welcome to session five, part three. In the last session, if you remember, we run Meterpreter and we managed to get a hash dump file from our Windows 7 machine. And in this session, we're going to um, run John the Ripper against that hash dump file. So the, there's, there's the file, I called it dump.txt. And in the previous John the Ripper session, I showed you how to do the basics of this. So I'm going to very quickly go through this one. Watch the previous session if you're a little bit lost on it. So I'm just going to type in John dash dash show. So that it shows me the results of the actual hash dump file. Then I'm going to do dash dash format. And in the one I showed you before, I showed you a raw dash MD5. This is a SAM dump file from a Windows machine. So it'll be equals NT. And then I drag over my data dictionary and I drag over my hash dump file. And when I hit the enter key, it'll run. It doesn't take long because they're not complex passwords and it should bring me back the results. Okay, and there they are. So on the Windows 7 machine, I've got administrator one and compute in. And if you look at this, administrator one is password and computing is computing 99. And just to confirm that, if I type this capital C, computing 99, and it logs me in. So that's how easy it is once you've got your hash dump file to to get the passwords out and gain access to the remote machine. So in this particular instance, we've remotely got a command prompt to it. Then we use Meterpreter to get a hash dump file. And now um, cr by cracking the hash dump file, we've gained access to the Windows 7 machine. So I hope you found these sessions useful and I'll continue with different ones in the future.